Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we can go about using Mac Changer up inside of our Calyx Linux machine to randomly change our Mac address. Anytime we're on the internet or we're on the LAN and we're doing any type of pen testing, our Mac address can give us away and can be used to identify us during an investigation. Now, anyone monitoring the network for traffic using Wireshark or some other means would be able to capture our traffic as well and be able to see our MAC address. That MAC address can be used to identify not just you but the type of equipment that you're currently using and the manufacturer of that equipment. Someone curious enough might be able to look up that MAC address and decide that hey I don't have any machines on my network that currently have this type of a network interface. So what is this doing on my network? I need to investigate this further. So it's important that you do disguise your MAC address whenever possible. So the first thing we have to do before we change a MAC address on any device is bring that device down. But before we can bring anything down, we need to know what we're bringing down. To do this, we just type in ifconfig. Now the interface I want to bring down is my ETH or my ETH1 and that's the interface that I'm going to be using for this demonstration here. This is really easy to do. We just type in ifconfig. Now we're going to type in the name of the interface we want to bring down and then we type in the word down. So ifconfig ether1 down and it comes back to the prompt letting me know that that interface is now down. Now I can type in Mac changer. Give it a space and a dash R. Now the dash R stands for random. So I'm going to create a random MAC address for this Ether1 interface. That's on my Kali machine. Now I have to type in the name of the interface that I want to do this on. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. So it comes back and it lets me know that it has assigned the following current MAC address of 5 Echo 1 Bravo and that my permanent MAC address is as we saw before the 0800 and that the new MAC address is 5 alpha. Now the unknown means that it doesn't have a manufacturer ID which is this first part right here. This first part here is the manufacturer ID and that's what's used to identify that part of the hardware. Okay. And now that we have our random MAC address assigned to our Ether1, let's go ahead and bring it back up. And to do this, we're going to do the same command for taking it down, only instead of using the word down, we're going to change that to the word up. So it's ifconfig space, the name of the interface, Ether1, the word up. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And it comes back to the prompt letting me know that that interface is now back up. So when I restart my Kali and I come back up, this clone MAC address is no longer going to be available and it's going to go back to using this permanent. So you have to do this each and every time you go onto the internet. So I just did a little test. I rebooted my Kali machine and it comes back up and you see that my Ethernet 1 now has its original MAC address back. So for Ethernet interfaces, it might be better off for us to use the Advanced Network Configuration Utility. Let's take another look at that. So I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to type in network. I'm going to open up the advanced network configuration. I'll open up my wired connection. And let's take the cloned MAC address option here. And let's just do a random. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. Close that. And let's see if I get a random MAC address using the advanced network configuration utility. And I do. All right. So let's go ahead and let's reboot one more time. And let's see if I can keep that random or obtain a random MAC address even after I reboot. And so we're back up. I'm going to go ahead and run that command one more time. And let's see if we got a different MAC address. And we do. And so it shows us the permanent MAC address for the interface. But at the same time, since I have it configured up inside of the Advanced Network Configuration Utility to give me a random 
MAC address. I will always be generating a new MAC address each and every time I reboot my machine. Well, that's great for my Ethernet adapters. What about my wireless adapters? So I'm also concerned about that. So I'm going to type in an IW config. And you'll see that I do have a wireless adapter, and it's currently configured for managed mode. Now, again, I need to bring this interface down before I can change the MAC address using MAC changer. So let's go ahead and see what happens if I don't bring this interface down before I change or attempt to change the MAC address. So using the name of my wireless adapter, WLAN0, I've typed in MAC changer space dash R for generate me a random MAC address for this wireless interface. We're going to go ahead and hit enter. And it comes up and I get an error. Could not change MAC. Interface up or insufficient permissions. Device or resources busy. Now that means that I need to bring that interface down before I can change the MAC address. So let's try that again. So again, I'm going to type in ifconfig type in the name of the interface and now I'm going to type in down and it comes back to the prompt letting me know that that command completed successfully so now if I bring back up my previous command for Mac changer and the dash R followed by the name of the interface which in this case is my WLAN 0 and I hit enter it comes back and it gives me the random Mac address for my wireless adapter the same rule applies for the wireless adapter as it does for the Ethernet adapter. Every time I reboot, I'm going to go back to using my permanent MAC address. So don't forget to bring the interface back up once you do change the MAC address. And so in this short video presentation, we got to take a look at the different ways that we can randomly change the MAC address for our Ethernet and for our wireless adapters up inside of Cali. So if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor. And I'll see you in my next video.